Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. And I'm super close to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for following me and subscribing to my channel. I love making videos and I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway when I hit 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that when I do hit the 100,000. Today we're going to be making two holographic resin hummingbirds. So let's jump in and get started. Um, I'm going to be pouring these in two layers. This one here, it's a little bit uh, messy because I ended up using chunky glitter on this. You want to make sure you use fine glitter. This one ended up turning out beautiful, but I will say it is much easier to get a controlled pour when you make these when you use fine glitter mixed in clear resin. On this one, I used a chunky holographic black glitter, super beautiful glitter from Island Micas and more. But for this type of application, a fine glitter is better than a chunky glitter. And this was just the glitter mixed with clear resin. I was taking my time pouring very carefully, just getting into the line details of this mold. And that's going to be it for layer number one. We're going to do another one here. Um, I had a little bit of practice on this first one. I had never used chunky glitter in these type of molds before, and honestly, it was a little bit stressful. So I would just use a fine glitter um, to do this if you guys give this a try. I will say these cups from Let's Resin do make it easier. Um, they have a really cute little spout on them, and you can get in there and do a really nice controlled pour. Um, I'll link these cups down below along with my coupon code. They're great for projects like this. And I'll link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. And I'll also be sure to link these molds as well. I did go ahead and mix up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, I will link one of my tutorials down below where I go step by step how to mix um, your epoxy and on these I'm using the liquid diamonds resin and it was just clear resin and I mixed in some glitter and that was it super easy to make these uh, I was really excited to try out this mold because I absolutely adore hummingbirds they're one of my favorite little creatures I just think they're so adorable and um, when I saw Julie Art came out with this mold, I had to have it. So I let that first layer dry overnight on both pieces. On this one here, we're going to go in with this gorgeous chameleon green glitter from Let's Resin. This one is a fine glitter. Um, so I would recommend a glitter like this to do that first layer. Um, they have a set of chameleon glitters. I'll link it down below. You can get it off Amazon. They also have a set of holographic glitters. Either one would work great for this type of mold. I'm just filling that the mold up. Super easy to do this. And just take your time, pour in a little bit, let it kind of fill up the mold and self-level. It's always easier to add more if you need to than to take some out. So just take your time when you're filling up the mold, kind of add a little bit, let it level out, add a little bit more just don't want to overfill it because that can be kind of messy. I was getting really mesmerized too by watching this glitter dance in the resin. It was just so, so beautiful. And on this one, we're going to use a completely different color. This is actually purple opal glitter by Let's Resin. And it's just some glitter, this glitter here mixed with clear resin. I'm using liquid diamonds for this second layer as well. Same thing, just going to fill up the mold. And I was kind of just, you know, pouring in the top first. I'm going to let it kind of level out a little bit. Don't want to add too much. Don't want to overfill the mold. I am going to go in with my stir stick and just kind of help it a little bit to fill in that beak area. And I was being really careful. I didn't want to um, damage the mold. I was just working on the surface of the resin, helping it kind of flow into that beak right there on the hummingbird mold. And I did let these sit for about 10 minutes to see if any bubbles came up to the surface. You can pop bubbles with your heat gun or give them a few sprays of 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, isopropyl alcohol works really well to pop surface bubbles if you have any on your resin pieces. I let them dry overnight. Here we are ready to demold them. I was so excited to see how they turned out. Absolutely gorgeous. 
I love the color of this one, so, so beautiful. And you can see it turned out fine, even though I didn't get a completely perfect pour on that first layer because I used the chunky glitter. It still worked out beautifully. It still turned out perfect. Um, and you could use these as coasters, even though the piece is two different depths, you can 100% still use them as coasters. Just attach some clear rubber bumpers on the back so they don't slide around on your table and they're good to go as coasters, but I like to turn these into sun catchers, and I will show you that here in a few minutes. Here's how the purple one turned out, absolutely gorgeous. Totally different, you can see how different they look if you use a lighter color as opposed to a darker color. I think this one's my favorite just because I love how it looks when the sun shines through it. It throws a lot of really pretty rainbows. Here's how they look all finished up. Off camera, I just took my little hand drill, drilled a small hole in the top and the bottom, screwed in two eye screws, attached my glass crystal beads, and you have a sun catcher. Super gorgeous. They throw a lot of really beautiful rainbows when the sun shines through them. Here's a little clip of my wall. I was just holding it up to my window. The sun was shining through this window and throwing a really gorgeous pattern on the wall. Super beautiful. I just love making these. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know which one's your favorite. Do you like this one, the opal glitter, or the darker green one? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. It helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back. And as always, I'll link all the materials down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that 100k giveaway that I'm going to be doing really soon. And don't forget to check out my mixing tutorial if you're new to resin and you want to see step-by-step -step how to mix your resin. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fabulous and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.